Hi Bo from Post Productions. One thing we didn't talk about in the uh, earlier video on Apollo and the Mo2 DP8 was uh, the console's um, virtual channels. So uh, the virtual channels are not tied to a specific input or output hardware wise on the Apollo, but they are simply there when you want want to monitor a virtual instrument coming from a DP8 um, to be monitored with whatever you're recording through the prees here. So how we are getting audio into there, let's go to DP, make a new session. And we'll just go ahead and put up the VI. We'll take Mark 5. And we will get some sound into Mark 5. Okay. So, what I want to do to get them to play back through the virtual channels is I know that the virtual channels are the output stream 21, 22. So now we took them there, and you can see the audio from Mark 5 comes here. Now, those are two mono channels, so we can click the link button to make it into one stereo channel. Do I want them to go to virtual 3, 4? I'll go back to Mo2 and change it from um, 21, 22 to 23 and 24. Let's see. Now we went to these two guys. So that's how you set up a virtual instrument to play back with low latency through the UA Apollo interface of the console. Um, one thing though, as we looked at before, uh, we can change the name that you see in DP from output stream 1, 23, 24. Um, because it's selected as a stereo, it's automatically au added in the bundles window. And here we can simply go in and double click on it, can it uh, call it um, uh, Apollo Virtual 1. Apollo virtual virtual two, and we'll see the name changed here, so it makes a little bit more sense and easier for you to remember. So these will be reflected here, reflected in your channel strips. There you go. So that's how you work with the virtual channels from the Apollo uh, 